This program is about unsolved mysteries. Whenever possible, the actual family members and police officials have participated in recreating the events. What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. In this episode of Battlefield Unsolved Mysteries, a person is missing after a huge flash flood demolishes an apartment complex. A ghostly figure appears to be haunting a luxury hotel chain. A huge explosion rocks a peaceful island town. A routine operation leaves a man dead on the operating table. A night watch for a usually ordinary Coast Guard base is anything but that. And a bridge collapse leaves civil engineers puzzled as to how it came down next on Unsolved Mysteries. In our first story tonight, residents of this upscale apartment complex find out the true cost of paying for a riverfront view. It's not just the rental fees. It costs most their possessions and even some their lives when the water table rose too damn high just like the rent in these apartments, according to Jimmy McMillan. One person, however, is unaccounted for and we need your help in locating this man that lived in apartment 27A and, according to his neighbors, wouldn't follow the 10 p.m. quiet hours enforced by the AOA. Police fear the worst, but this family is holding out hope that it'll eventually be discovered, kind of like that one night he had too many drinks and woke up naked in a car at Denny's parking lot. If you have any information about this case, please leave it down in the comments section. Look up in the sky. It's not a bird nor a plane, but an apparition of a person that has been alleged to have been bothering several guests at this high-end hotel. Amidst reports that the penthouse isn't so sweet, now with a ghost running around, the hotel has seen cancellations like LaGuardia during a rainstorm. Several high-profile groups that specialize in ghost hunting, however, have been lining up to get an exclusive night at this pricey hotel to set up various beepity bops in order to catch a glimpse of what others have been witnessing. An untimely death of a board member last month leads some to guesstimate that this is his spirit trying to hold on to what once was his. If you have any information about this case, please leave it down in the comments section. If an emergency strikes, you'd better hope that firefighters aren't on island time like they were in our next story. An unexpected explosion of a bungalow left 10 surfers hung out to dry. Amongst the deceased was a world champion longboarder and police are suspecting that fellow competitors may have set up a sabotage to look like an accident, especially with the slow time from responders. The clues at the scene of the crime are scarce, so investigators need your help in debunking the laundry list of conspiracy theories posted on forums around the world. If you have any information about this case, please leave it down in the comments section. This isn't the hospital to have your residency take place at. As a routine appendectomy turns deadly as a patient's family is now crying malpractice when their relative dies on the operating table. The hospital claims that since the patient did not inform or perhaps had no knowledge of a sulfur-based medication allergy, there's simply nothing that the doctors could do once they had realized what had started to happen after giving the patient some normal sedatives. Investigators are awaiting an autopsy result, but footage of the OR could prove the doctor's claim is false. The tape was clearly edited between the administration of the drug and the death of the person, so could the hospital be covering its own ass unlike the robes that people wear? If you have any information about this case, please leave it down in the comments section. The Coast Guard saves lives of moronic boaters that drink too much and run aground after not remembering port versus starboard. However, on this night watch, things got uglier than Renee Zellweger with or without makeup. 
When an officer phoned in a suspected narcotics exchange, he was subsequently found dead near his post not but a few moments later. Heavy drug trafficking has ballooned in the area recently and this site is heavily undermanned. As of now, this death is ruled accidental, but the Coast Guard is searching for answers as to what to happen on this dreadful night. If you have any information about this case, please leave it down in the comments section. And in our final story, America's infrastructure is crumbling, but this is the first time it's caused many casualties since the I-35 bridge collapse a few years ago. You're not supposed to pick up hitchhikers, but they certainly don't deserve to die, which is what happened in this story. Civil engineers that designed this fairly recent bridge are scratching their heads as to how this could have happened. Police aren't yet ruling out terrorism, although who the fuck would really want to blow up a random bridge in some obscure state? Since Congress has stalled to pass any meaningful legislation to fix the necessities in our transportation system, some are pointing the finger at activists who may have deliberately caused this catastrophe to happen just to put some wind in their sails behind their agenda. Supporters of this movement call the accusations recoculous. If you have any information about this or any of the cases presented here tonight, please leave it down in the comment section and maybe you can help solve a mystery.